Hi everyone, welcome back to another edition of The Velvet Lounge Life. We are in the kitchen, so I'm going to call this my recipe edition, cooking edition. It's a tasty edition, that's all you need to know. Look at this sloppy joe. It is huge, it is large. I think it's colossal. Um, let me see, how can I compare this in size? Oh, so you have this paste picante. You could kind of lay that across it and see that that's a really ample meal for my one meal a day modified plan today. So I am going to tell you how I made this. Um, I'm not going to show you, I'm just going to tell you. And also, there's a gigantic twist to this yummy Sloppy Joe that you are definitely going to want to tune into. I just thought you had to get cl a close-up on that. Oh, I, and now I'll tell you everything that I put in it and how I made it. I mean, technically, this is a meal that should take no more than maybe 15 minutes to clean up and if, I mean, to create, but I'm talking about from the time that you take everything out to the time that you clean up, that's probably like 20 to 25 minutes max. So I first of all want to show you guys what an awesome New England winter day looks like outside. So I'm just here on the front porch because I have to make sure the dog doesn't get away. <laughs> Um, so you see our backyard, part of our side yard over there, and yeah, you can see there's snow, there's ice, those are holly bushes, and it is just really nice today because it's sunny, which is awesome, and also it's, it is, you know, there's a little bit of a bite in the air, but it's not a bad bite as far as like the cold goes. Um, it is really pleasant if you're appropriately dressed to go for a walk. Um, let me show you this tree. One of our colossal pine trees. Yes, people, it is huge. It's gigantic. It has two tree trunks, which is what makes it really amazing. But you know what? I think we're hungry. I think we need to get back to our delicious and what did I say colossal sloppy joe flowers from the old man he usually gives me flowers as a way of welcoming in the new year which is really awesome and there's usually a love card that goes with it so yeah we kind of start um, Valentine's Day here early at the manor <laughs> All right, so here we go. So how did I make this? So some of my ingredients you can see here in the back. I have madras curry powder, of course, some minced garlic. I actually used a, I'm trying this, I've never tried this before, but my sister got it for me and I want to try it because it's a really awesome way to have some dried garlic that you can reconstitute on your own as needed versus having to peel garlic, which is easy to do if you smash it with a knife, but I don't know. It is what it is. I'm trying it and hopefully I like it. Yes, you see some old El Paso taco seasoning here, hot and spicy. So I am making hot and spicy sloppy joes. So I'm not using any type of classic Sloppy Joe um, mix. I also use some paste picante. Um, this is our favorite thing to chip, um, dip our chips in, but this is also great for cooking with. And yes, hot. <laughs> Cilantro, which I had um, harvested and dried on my own earlier this spring. I'm not sorry, this summer. And of course, onion. And the other things that are in this that you can't see, or actually you can see, there's, um, I use shredded cabbage and carrots, and I actually got it from a bag, and I use that because it holds up better, and I actually like that extra crunch. I know some people just want a classic sloppy joe, where you just have, you know, the 
protein base with all of the spices in it and a few vegetables in it and herbs and you know throw it on a bun you're happy but I actually like to have like a hearty veg with mine and the reason that I'm using cabbage is because like I said it holds up so much better than lettuce does also it helps keep your bun from getting super soggy the other thing that I do is I actually toast my bun in the oven so that it once again has more of a hearty structure to hold up the sloppy joe mixture and the other thing is this is 100% vegan yes there is no ground beef or protein animal protein in this at all the this is um a meat crumble and it is by i believe the company is named farm rich or something like that I, this is obviously not a sponsored video um and they actually sell these like vegan crumbles which i've had over the years a few times here and there I always like them. Our grocery doesn't always have them. I have to go to one of the larger groceries in order to find them. Um, but it's something that I like. It is definitely something that you have to pack down with flavor. If you don't add some strong flavors to this, it is pretty uneventful. You know, it's not the most uneventful thing because they do actually... If you look at the ingredients, they do actually, and it's all natural, they do actually add, you know, like garlic and, you know, some other seasonings to it. Um, but they don't, like I said, it's not, it's not enough as far as I'm concerned to carry the replacement of an actual animal protein. And also the amazing thing about the crumbles that this company sells they don't add any fat to it. So unlike Beyond Burger, which is loaded down with fats that are not good for you, um, this does not have that. So if you want to take a turn at creating your own Beyond type burger, you could do that with these crumbles. And what you would do is simply add just a little bit of fat, but you also have to add some breadcrumbs um, to sort of give that patty structure. So I might do that for you in a future video. But yes, this is what I'm having today. This is, you know, other than whatever is in the bread, which I know there's definitely eggs in there. It is a 100% um, natural bread, but it does have egg in it. But besides that, everything else you see on this plate is 100% vegan. And I can't wait to get into this. This is basically what I'm going to eat today. I'm going to cut it in half, have some now. If I get to, like, if I feel that I'm at my limit, I'll have some later. And I will supplement later on today if I feel the need, because I probably won't, um, with some Nusa yogurt. Yes! We're bringing back the Noosa. And I actually found that if you look at your Noosa yogurts before you buy them, look at the bottom. Make sure there's enough fruit in there so that, or whatever the extra, like the, it may be fruit. Sometimes they do a honey, a vanilla flavor, etc. It Make sure there's enough of that in the bottom. That was what was happening with me before when I would purchase the tiny containers because they have the regular size which I commonly show you guys but they actually have like a half size container but sometimes at the bottom there's very little of the fruit and you know I like the lemon and the lime those are my favorites blueberry as a backup but what I did this time is I actually looked at the bottom of each container before I purchased them and found those that had the most fruit at the bottom so Yum. I'm definitely having one of those later, probably, if because maybe I'll only eat half of this, because now that I'm talking about it, I feel like that should be part of my day. So anyway, I hope you guys get out into the sunny weather, get some natural vitamin D, and enjoy your day. Remember that your health is your wealth, and without your health, you have nothing. Also, try something new as far as a replacement in your diet this year.